what's up everyone it's a thursday morning i'm on the number four train now making my way to the bronx i'm going to visit the newly opened bronx children's museum the time right now is 9 37 a.m it's february 9th 2023 and the temperature right now is 39 fahrenheit I would say that's about three or four degrees Celsius. My conversion isn't working right now on my phone. We're about to enter the Harlem 125th Street Station. This uptown train isn't too crowded right now. Bronx Children's Museum is located in a part of the Bronx known as Mill Pond. It's actually in the former power plants. The Guardian Airport connection is available to Metro North. This is the last stop in Manhattan. The elevator is at the front of the platform. And I'll be getting off in two stops at the uh, 149th Street Grand Concourse. This is a Bronx-bound 4 train. The next stop is 138th Street Grand Concourse. Stand clear of the closing It's a little bit tricky because there's two train stations in the Bronx called the Grand Concourse. One's 138th Street, the other one's 149. So, uh, You'll be nine blocks away if you get off at the wrong one. That's the number six train. That will actually branch off into a different line in the Bronx, going to Pelham Bay Park. Whereas the four train where I'm on will pretty much make a straight shot through the Bronx, going north to Van Cortland Park at Woodlawn. Right now we're in a subway tunnel underneath the Harlem River. We'll actually be seeing the Harlem River later when I get out of the station because that's where Mill Pond is located and the Bronx Children's Museum. Where we're going is actually really close to Yankee Stadium. In fact, the uh, closest station to the Bronx Children's Museum isn't on the New York City subway. It's on the Hudson Line of the Metro North at the Yankees East 153rd Street Station. And that's only um, accessible via the local train. The express train from Grand Central will skip that station.
more stop. This is a Woodlawn bound four train. The next stop is 149th Street, Grand Concourse. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. This next train station is actually very close to Lincoln Medical Center. The two and five trains will actually take you to the northernmost sections of the Bronx, almost to the border with Westchester County. This is a Woodlawn bound four train. The next stop is 161st Street. I guess there's a lot of construction here with the staircases, so we're going to have to get detoured a bit. And if this doesn't tell you how dirty the New York City subway station uh, system is, I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, oh, here's the exit right here. I do need to walk on 149th Street going west towards Manhattan in order to get to the Harlem River. So basically we're here. I need to walk here and then walk on Exterior Street to Mill Pond Park. And the Bronx Children's Museum is right here. We'll also walk behind the Bronx Terminal Market, which is home to a uh, shopping mall there. And we are now on the streets of the Bronx. This is the Mott Haven neighborhood. And uh, it looks like I couldn't have crossed the street there underground to get out. So I'll need to walk over here. Here's the Grand Concourse major thoroughfare going north and south through the Bronx. Let's actually wait here to cross the street. Looks like there's a grand opening of the Aki fried chicken and pizza. Wings, pizza, pasta, salad, burger, ice cream. Looks like a very uh, bright place. I hope they do well.
And in front of me, we can see the bridge to Manhattan. That is the 145th Street Bridge. Cafe Royal Restaurant. I'm actually very excited to see this new children's museum. I'm actually not really coming here of my own accord, but because I want to see my friend who's a parent. They're bringing a little uh, kid with them. Now I've heard this area right across the Harlem River from Manhattan is developing at a very quick rate. I'm so early that school buses are still around in this area. All right, so we can see Manhattan across the river. That's the neighborhood of Harlem. And there's a new development here, a big building. Hopefully it'll alleviate some of the uh, high housing prices that are currently affecting New York City. I think this interstate sign is missing to north and then it's blank. Here's the Bronx Terminal Market building, historic building, 1935. And then you have the newer one behind it, which is a shopping mall now. A uh, little bit of a tricky intersection across. Looks like this historic building now is home to Postos Community College. I guess this housing project is called the Bronx Point.
I hope I could access Mill Pond Park from here. know how these uh, units are going to fare with all the noise from the traffic but if you live in New York City I guess people can get used to traffic noises subway noises screaming people as well the big Bronx terminal market building right here and see all the stores they have inside. Home Depot, Target, Skechers, BJ's, Best Buy, Marshalls, to name just a few of them. Right now we're walking underneath the Major Deegan Expressway, part of Interstate 87. I have to say, this, is, this isn't exactly the most scenic route for a kid to experience, going to the Children's Museum. Wow, is the entire Mill Pond Park closed off due to this construction? That'll be unfortunate. At least we get to see the underside of Bronx Terminal Market here. It's an area that I've never been to before. Hey, look at this the Universal Hip Hop Museum. Hip Hop was actually invented in the Bronx. It looks like they're featuring uh, 1986 to 1990 right now, the golden era. want to get out of this underpass already and into the park. Very gloomy and devoid of sunlight. I think there's an entrance to the park right there across the street. I don't think this shopping cart's been in use for a long, long time. I think I see the Children's Museum up there. It's a stone one, but I do want to check out the park before I go there. I have some time. Right, Mill Pond Park. I think this is a uh, fairly new park. My first time here.
nice uh, waterfront path they have. And I hope when they finish with this construction site, the park can be uh, reopened on the other side. I don't even see anyone else in this park right now. And we have a bunch of twigs and branches and leaves in front of us. It's like they didn't finish their composting job. I guess it'll compost itself on the halfway here definitely not the cleanest waterway I've ever seen you do not want to be swimming in there Here are the tracks for the uh, Metro North Hudson Line. I think Amtrak also uses this uh, train, uh, train line. Someone was here and did a little bit of trimming. I don't know if we'll see a train pass by while we're here. There's the 145th Street Bridge in front of me. I wish this waterway was a lot cleaner, but we do have a magnificent view of the Bronx and Manhattan here. I actually hear the New York City subway from across the river here in Manhattan. Transportation links of the market, delivery trucks at the market, railroad cars and barges. They should really uh, revitalize this information board. It's getting a little bit faded. It's another lookout point over here. And that up there is the Maycombs Dam Bridge. It'll connect to Yankee Stadium on this side. Some Canada geese swimming underneath the train tracks.
this water looks a little bit clearer than the other side, but it's still very polluted. Not really a very nice park, I would say. It needs a lot of work. The scenery is nice, but the waters around here are disgusting. Tree branches and twigs just left out here, not cared for. Yeah, and these information boards, these pictures you can't even see anymore because they've been weathered. Good information about the Bronx Terminal Market though. I was gonna walk down here, but uh, I'd rather not walk on the sand if I can. I think I saw a way to go around this on the waterfront. Oh, that's nice. There's a shopping cart in the water there. Maybe we can access this children's museum from the waterside path. more uh, trees or bushes that got trimmed. Those are tennis courts, but there's no netting. 
It would help if they put netting on the tennis court. And this pathway is full of goose poop. One of the culprits over there. Wonder what this information board shows. Before the Bronx Terminal Market, Maycombs Dam, Harlem River 1850. several geese there. Actually, I think this train line is just purely a freight line. The Hudson line, it runs up Park Avenue. And then it turns left. Yeah, so this is not a passenger line, the train tracks. I had to think about it for a second. Oh, here's the Bronx Children's Museum. This is the former power plant. And the tennis center entrance, I guess, is over here. Maybe that's why there was no netting in the other court because everything here is indoors. So here is the entrance. Oh, they have the uh, restrooms right in front here of this building. Unless these are just the public restrooms. The museum, it looks like it's over here. Let's see, visitor hours from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. and then from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Those are the hours of the Children's Museum. Mill Pond Park, it continues on around the corner here just for a little bit and it ends over there. 
I think I just saw a Metro North train make the turn over there. So I was confirmed that this line next to me is a freight line. I'm not really sure what to think about the location of this children's museum, but I can tell you the area isn't really that kid friendly with this overpass here, a dirty environment. But at least there's a park on the other side. It's not very well kept though. I hope the children's museum inside is well worth it. I mean, I'm pretty certain it is because it's a brand new building. Looks like this is the school entrance. The main entrance is uh, where we saw it from. All right, well, uh, I guess I'll end my video here. I'll meet up with my friend now. But it's been an adventure. Thank you so much for coming along to watch my journey to the Bronx Children's Museum as well as discover Mill Pond Park. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye everyone, take care.